Welcome to Winning at Life Online, the place of product reviews, life hacks and money advice. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Louis Vuitton Pocket Organiser in monogram with the blue leather lining and it's the 2018 Summer Edition by Kim Jones. Now obviously that's the receipt that you always get from Louis Vuitton. I've already took the uh, packaging off that's obviously the ribbon that it comes in move it on box the dust pouch and there is the Louis Vuitton Pocket Organiser designed by Kim Jones for summer 2018. Now, the name of this product is obviously the Louis Vuitton Pocket Organiser and I'll give a breakdown of it very shortly but, and I am very very shocked, this product is defective. It is def I was absolutely shocked, I had to ring up Louis Vuitton I've been shopping at Louis Vuitton for 15 years, 15 years plus, and I've never had a bad product. And I'll touch on the defective piece, um, well, the bit that's defective shortly, and uh, rest assured, Louis Vuitton are sorting it out immediately, and um, they're sending me an exact replacement. There's nothing wrong, like defective-wise, stitching or anything like that. I'll show you what it is shortly. But before we get to that, so, the name of the product, like I said, is the Louis Vuitton pocket organizer in classic monogram with blue lining and what does this product do so if you're fed up with massive bulky wallets like I was you know I've got my Gucci wallet and it was really thick with like cards and cash and the rest of it and uh, if you're fed up with that this is a great alternative to an ever-growing cashless society. Nine times out of ten, people don't use cash anymore. They either use it on their phone or they just take their card out, contactless payment, that type of thing. So this is a great alternative for that, and I definitely recommend it. It has, like I said, card slots everywhere, and I'll get onto that in the features later. And it's so small, you know, it it, it can fit in anywhere. I mean, it can it can fit if you're a, if unisex as well. So if you're a female, you can put it in your handbag. A male in in a coat or a pocket. And um, like I said, you, you've got nine card slots, so you can put a card here, card there, card there, card behind here, three slots there, in here as well. You could put a card in there, or round the back by putting a card in there as well. So it's a very good alternative to a massive bulky wallet if you if you just want to carry cards and I highly recommend it. How much does this product cost? Well, in the United Kingdom where I am, this product costs £260. Um, but they average between £260 and £360. Um, you can get precious meta uh, material which is over £1,000 but for, for, you know, for, you know, for everyday use or for most people, including myself, this one, this one will suffice. Um, two sixty to three sixty is the average price. Like I said, this is canvas with leather lining. Uh, well, cowhide leather. And um, who manufactures this product? So obviously Louis Vuitton manufactures this product in house. Um, comes either from Spain or France. I recommend getting a made in France. This is a made in Spain which is probably why it's defective. Joke, joke, don't sue me Louis Vuitton. Um, so yeah, and uh, I recommend getting it only from um, the official Louis Vuitton store or their online services. I know you can get them from like pre-loved and secondhand and stuff like that, but always buy brand new because there's so many fakes out there. You just don't want to take that chance. You don't want to take that chance at all. And now I'm going to touch on with what was the defective, what was the defective part on this piece, and why I'm uh, getting a exchange. This is the bit that's actually defective. Now most of you guys might think, oh, you know, that's a bit 
being pedantic about things or whatever, but when you're paying 260 to 360 pound, especially for Louis Vuitton, who in their receipt when they send out say that each product is handmade to the highest levels of craftsmanship, and which I've got no friction from them to be honest, they've been very helpful and they're sorting this matter out, but I'll use one pointer for this so you can see. The N there, that is actually wonky. It's more prevalent with the human eye to be honest than on camera. The N in Made in Spain, if you can see, half the N is missing there. The registered sign is not even eligible and half of it's faded. Same with the lettering. It looks like, honestly, that the product is of really, really high craftsmanship, as in from the stitching to the leather work, everything. I can't fault the product, like all my other Louis Vuitton products from my key holders to my other wallets, to my toiletry pouches, everything perfect. But this, how did this get past product, you know, um, scrutiny or standard products when they inspect them before they send them out or make them? Because look at that, the M there as well, and A is all squashed up, it's not even eligible. It literally looks like Johnny age five has wrote this on, this great piece of craftsmanship. This is the bit that lets it down, this bit here. And I've been reading online that maybe this is a problem with the cowhide and the red stamping, uh, that it doesn't transfer very well. Whereas on my key pouch, I'll show you in a minute how it's supposed to look. But this really lets it down. And I called Louis Vuitton and they've been really helpful in the matter. And you know, I said that the craftsmanship is second to none on this, but it literally looks like, you know, joking apart, like you take your wallet out at the bar or whatever, you open it and then it looks like a cheap Chinese copy because of that. Not something you've just paid anywhere between 260 and 360 pound for, which Louis Vuitton totally understood and they're sending me a replacement out immediately. Um, they couldn't apologize enough. They've been really helpful in the matter to be honest, but I'll give you an update as well when the new one comes. And, um, I'll show you as well what it's meant to look like online when they take their online pictures of of what the um, the Louis Vuitton stamping's meant to look like, and obviously what it looks like here. Like I said, it's more prevalent with the human eye, but it, yeah, it's a massive problem. Everything is squished. It's all like dotted. The N is not straight properly, and half the N in Made in Spain is missing, and the M and A in Made is all squashed up. It's just completely unacceptable for these standards. Now you can see the difference obviously with the stamping on my key pouch. The Louis and the Vuitton is eligible. You can see the R, the registered sign. The N is straight. Paris made in France. All of it's eligible and looks perfect to me. Obviously like I said it's better with the human eye but that's impossible on YouTube um, so you have to see through film. But yeah that's what it's meant to look like. Not like how it did on that but like I said it's getting sorted so uh, it's not an issue right now going back to a bit of uh, positivity from that uh, that last little bit of critique so this comes in uh, two sizes it comes in a 3.4 inch height and a 4.3 this is the 4.3 um, and the length is the same on all the sizes 2.8 inches I recommend massively I mean obviously take disregard that because that's getting sorted but um, I massively recommend getting the 4.3 inches just because the cards fit in the card slots a lot better there's a lot more they're not too roomy but there's a lot more you know space for them to get in whereas on the 3.4 inch height it's near enough the same as a credit card so it's a real real tight squeeze getting them in and out and if you know from my other friends that have got this product or other reviews um yeah it really stretches the stitching around here it leaves a card imprint like here and on the back there you get like a, a rectangle imprint there because the 3.4 is just so compact and tight i mean it's great it's great for being compact but it just stretches the stitching and leaves card uh imprints which is obviously something that you you really don't want um, like I said it comes with nine slots like I've touched on previously um, slot there slot there slot in here 
there are three designated slots there and I use that for an ID card slot at the back because where I work you have to carry ID so in and out and um, that's really simple enough and it comes in various um, patterns like I said you can get Demir Ebene like my key pouch in the background there you could get normal Demir um, you can get this in a blue the monogram in blue but I prefer it in um, classic different leather lining red yellow blue it's just so much variety with this it's um, it's really good and uh, this is like I said cowhide leather really soft and supple on some of the earlier um, pocket organizers this is quite stiff so when folding and opening repeatedly you would get cracks running down here um, which Louis Vuitton have sorted out by making it very supple and um, top quality leather on the inside which is which is fantastic like I said there's no there's no ability to carry coins with this um, you can carry notes some people put notes uh, down the back there or they'll slide them in the front here a bit of cash you can't carry too much just roll it up tightly and uh, and put it in and like I said this is the what Louis Vuitton described as the Kim Jones for summer 2018 outdoor uh, adventurous escapes uh, model you know and it comes with made in France and Spain but like I said there's not really much different I know I joked earlier and said made in Spain that's why it's defective but that's obviously a joke um, there's not really much difference uh, the quality is the same it's all in-house with Louis Vuitton but try and get a made in France and I only say that because um, they get better residual value than made in Spain features this product lacks to be honest, it doesn't really lack a lot of features. It does everything that it's supposed to. Carrying the cards, you can carry a bit of cash, like I said. Carry your ID on the back. You know, fantastic colouring, variety, different styles. It's all fantastic. But what I would like to see is maybe some sort of closure here. So it keep it closed. Because sometimes, if you have got a lot of cards in, I don't mean it like stays open like this, but sometimes it doesn't sit flush. It will never sit flush flush, but maybe like a little closure or a little stud closure so you can close it too, like some of their wallets. That's just me being picky, but what would you guys like to see? Would you like to see a different sort of style or something added to it, you know? Um, let me know, message, please subscribe. And um, similar products on the market, I mean, if you don't, if you're looking at this and you're like, oh, shall I get a Louis Vuitton or shall I get a Gucci or Hermes? Well, Gucci and Hermes do very similar products, but, and I do like Gucci. Gucci and Louis Vuitton are like my two favorite brands. But for me, Louis Vuitton just makes it because I don't know what it is. It's this hypnotic pattern, right? This pattern just hypnotizes you. And it's like, buy me, buy me. That type of thing. You know what I mean, guys. There must be some addicts out there as well. Louis Vuitton addicts. Hit me up. And I'll finish on, um, you know, the success of this product. Well, we always say what's the predicted, predicted success. This item sells out quick. I mean sells out quick, especially the monogram. There was the monogram with a bit of leather down here, like the cowhide black leather down, down the spine. That sold out really quick. This has not long been released and it's already selling out like mad. The NM, the 3.4 inch, which is like uh, three quarters of the size, that's always sold out and it's only just come back available um, online recently. So the success of this is they fly. They're always sold out, really good pieces to acquire. And like I said, you can use it. You know, it's a usable piece, everyday use. It's sturdy. Um, Obviously, apart from that problem I had there, but I'm just going to say it was a blip with Louis Vuitton. I hope it's not because 15 years ago, they weren't mass producing as much as they are now. So I hope they're not letting standards slip for, you know, quantity over quality. But so far, their quality is still second to none. What do you guys think? What do you prefer? Do you prefer this? Do you prefer another model? Do you prefer Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Hermes? What would you want to see change? Do you like this? Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll tell you what I'll have coming next. A couple of guys inboxed me about my Rolex, uh, my Submariner. 
So I'll do a review of that next, tell you about um, investment types with it, residually, um, which one to go for, which one's the best, and uh, that will come shortly, that video, but thanks for watching the Louis Vuitton Pocket Organiser. I hope this has helped. If you were looking at getting one, please like the rest of my channel. It's got, like I said, uh, fashion tips, money advice, and general life hacks. Thanks.